In this video, we're going to show you how to change the way modes to a Satoria CPA 2202. You can see we have this large diamond on the scale and it weighs in grams. And if we wanted to see what it weighed in carats, if we press the F key, the balance doesn't change. So in the manual, Sartorius gives you a nice user's manual. In the manual on page 50, it talks about toggling between weigh units and exactly what the numbers are for the weigh unit. So if we look in here for carrots, if we want to set it to carrots, we'll say the primary mode will stay in grams, which is 717, and the secondary mode we want carrots will be 314. So let's show you how to change the weigh unit. What you want to do is first take the item off the balance. You would turn off the balance. Turn on the balance and press the tear key and release. You will see the balance should go to the number one. And so according to the manual, to weigh in carrots, the code is 313. So we need to increment the number one. We want to change that to three. So you press the cal key once, twice. So now we have a three. We need to move it over one. To move it over to the right, we want to press the print key. 3, 1, and we want to keep the 1 there. Press the print key again. We have 3, 1, 3. So we need to increment up to 3, 1, 4. So to increment up, you have to press the Cal key. So we have 3, 1, 4, which we want. We need to store it. You press and hold the print key until you see a little circle in the top right hand corner. Okay, we want to change this. I'm sorry, you press the tear key. When you press the tear key in the upper corner, you see the zero. We've now set that to the default. So the secondary mode will be carrots. Now when we reset the balance, you have to press and hold the tear key. The balance resets. Goes to zero, zero. If we press, put our item on this, the balance and we press the F key, we would be expecting it to weigh in carrots, but it's not going to. Watch. Press the F key, we have nothing. This is a common error. We get a lot of phone calls about this, and this is why we made this video. What you need to do is you need to set up the application also. So the application is, in the user manual, 212. So we need to set up that application. So to set up the application, we need to shut off the balance, turn the balance on, press the tear key. We'll get a 1. We need to increment this. Now we need to set it to 212. So we press the F key. Sorry, we press the print key. Press the Cal key. So we have a 2. Press the print key. 1. Press the print key again. We need 212. Press the cal key. 212. We now need to get that zero in the upper right hand corner. Press the tear key. When you press the tear key, it stores it. So now we're ready to reset the balance. Press and hold the tear key. The balance resets. Goes to zero, zero. Press our, put our item on the balance, and now when we press the F key, we are in grams right now. Press the F key, we are now in carats. Press the F key again, we are now in grams. Press the F key again, we are now in carats. So let's just do this one more time just to show you how easy it is to change the weigh modes. So one powers up the balance, hits the tear key. When you hit the tear key, the balance, the first segment is shown, is a 1. So this time, let's change our primary mode, which was grams. We'll change that to pounds, we'll say. And so the code in the manual for pounds is 175. So to do so, we need to move the, we want 1. We need to move it over to the right, press the print key. Now we press the cal key, 1, 7, print, 
hold the print key down once. We have 172. We want to change this. We're going to have it go in pounds. So we'll increment 175. We need to store it. To store it, simply press the tear key. We have the circle in the upper right hand corner. We know it's stored. Now, let's say on our secondary mode, we want to change that to ounces. And the manual, that code would be 3 1. Uh, let, let's go troy ounces. So it will be 317. So all we have to do again is we need to move the uh, cursor over. So we're going to hit the print key. We have a 1. We need to set this up to 317. So the 1, press the cal key. We went past it. We want to go 3, 3, 1. And we're going to increment this up. 317. We're going to store it by pressing the print key. We have 317. We want to reset the balance. Press and hold the tear key. And so now we have pounds. Pounds is our primary mode. And if we press the F key, our secondary mode is now troy ounces. So that's how you change the wave modes. It's pretty simple. Now, if you screw everything up and you need to reset the balance back to the factory defaults, I want to show you how to do that real quick because we want to set this balance back up to the factory defaults. All one has to do, turn off the balance, turn the balance on, press the tear key. Factory default setting, one simply we're going to do 9, 1, okay, 9, 1, so we want to go to 9, 1, so we have 9 dash, we want to change this to a 1, so press the cal key, so we have 9 dash 1, this is going to reset the balance, we're going to press the tear key, okay, so we have 9 dash 1 with a 0 up in the upper right hand corner, press the tear and hold it, this now has reset the balance to the factory defaults. So the balance powers up. We're in grams. If we hit the F key, we're not going to get a secondary way mode because the default is not such that you have toggle way units. So that's how you change the way units. We are Precision Way and Balances. We're an authorized Satorius dealer. You can visit us at balances.com or scaleman.com. Thanks for watching this video.